Everybody knows about light. We use it in our everyday life. But do you know and do you ever wonder what light is made of? Well, today I'm going to be talking about what light is made of. So let's get to it. I have another question for you. Do you know what an atom is made of? Well, the figure on the top left corner represents the structure of an atom. An atom is made of a nucleus, which is in the center, and electrons revolve around the nucleus. The nucleus is made of protons, and neutrons. The orbit in which electrons rotate around the nucleus have a spe specific amount of energy. So let us see how electrons emit electromagnetic energy in the form of photons. The ground state is the lowest energy orbit for electrons. When electrons absorb energy, they temporarily move to a higher orbit, which is called the excited state. When the electron moves from the excited state back to the ground state, it then emits a photon. So as you can see in the picture, elect the electrons with higher energy shown in the red falls to lower energy and then the light photon is emitted. Photons carry the light, visible light, which is form of electric which is a form of electromagnetic energy. So I have some natural sources of light energy. The source of light is nuclear reaction inside the stars and then hydrogen becomes helium. The process sends out energy, which is used to heat the star. Nuclear fusion creates heat and photons create light. Since the sun is a star, they have the same process of producing light. The core of the sun is super hot and nuclear fusion comes along. Hydrogen becomes helium and nuclear fusion be makes heat. Light is emitted when electrons move from the excited state to the ground state. And it's interesting. So here's an interesting fact about jellyfish. They glow due to bioluminescent pro protein inside them. The substance called luciferin re reacts with oxygen and creates light. Ever heard that? So now to artificial sources, which are man-made. A light bulb is a great an example of an incandescent light. Bull of light being created by heat. This principle of producing light is called incandescence. Now to LEDs. This is the example of an LED. Electroluminescence is what produces light in LEDs. Here are some more examples of artificial sources of light, which you could pause and read. Now, characteristics of light. When light bounces off a smooth and shiny object, it is called reflection. And when light changes from one medium to another, it is called refraction. For example, when light 
travels from air to water, it slows down and changes the dif dire the direction of the light ray. Another characteristic of light, diffraction. When light bends around the edge of an object, it is called diffraction. So that is my long-term project and I have to show a model. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a experiment using refraction. So you can't see the coin inside the bowl, but once I put the water, you will. So I'm gonna be doing another experiment, which is de demonstrating a characteristic of light. So I'm gonna be using a magnifying glass, which has a convex lens. So whenever I point this at the leaves, the light rays from the sun uh, focus on the convex lens and then it causes these leaves to burn. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you guys learned something today. Bye!